Hello everyone, it's a new week, a new theme and a new mystery box. Yeah, you guys know how this works. Basically, James is going to lower a box, and in that box is an ingredient, we don't know what it is, but it's going to be a clue to all of the videos we're going to produce this week. James, lower the box. That's less heavy. Smooth. Eagle has landed. We might guess this one first time. Oh, guys, it's chicken week. <laughs> <laughs> it's either chicken or salmonella week, depending on <laughs> whether we cook that or not. Yeah, it's chicken. I've, I've given up. I've, I've given up. No cryptic no. clues anymore, just, just put no, the ingredients in the box. It's just a, it's just a chicken. Well, everything should be in Mike's favour now, because you are the chicken king. I can't wait for this. I am chicken king. That's true, and you've got a battle at the end of the week. Yeah. So Mike, I mean the expectations are high. This is Mike's saloon. I need some help, so I'm going to send a tweet and ask you for some help. OK, Google. Do cocks have penises? How do chickens have sex? Show me videos. <laughs> no. Oh, sh**. Hens only have one functional ovary. Ugh, their uterus turn inside out when they lay eggs. Ugh. Most hens are virgins. <laughs> <laughs> they're not called cocks, they're called roosters. Bye. Right, please, can we please hens start? Hens and cocks. I just want to start the video. Okay. Yeah. Because of you, we are starting this week with a flyer. Chicken parmigiana, a very, very simple dish. But when done right, you can't beat it. Yeah, and this one has got all of your help and suggestions in. So it's going to start by taking chicken breast, halving it so it's nice and thin, bashing it out so it's even thinner and slightly tenderised, and then we tenderise it again with buttermilk. But into the buttermilk we are adding onion powder, chopped garlic, and then leaving it to marinate for a couple of hours. Now this is a key part of any parmigiana. The tomato sauce, it can make or break this dish. And you guys said if you make it yourself, that it will absolutely make the dish and not break it. This is a cooking channel, so we are definitely gonna make it. Two cloves of garlic, finely chopped and fried off in a pan with some olive oil and some brown sugar and some dried oregano until all of that softens. It'll take several minutes. Then we're gonna add in tin tomatoes, chicken stock, and bubble it away for about 20 minutes. Did you know that the chicken is the closest living relative to the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Did you know Another the chicken one. is more clever than a toddler child? Sauce needs to bubble. Did you know? I've done, got one done, last please. fact. Chickens dream. Right. Chicken parmesan. So we've got our chicken marinating in buttermilk. We now need to pass it through seasoned flour, seasoned beaten egg, and seasoned breadcrumbs. The seasoning in the breadcrumbs is more than just salt and pepper. We're going to add more dried onion and more dried oregano. We'll get all three trays ready and we're good to move on. Did you know chickens have more bones in their necks than giraffes? Yeah. The, you know the giraffes are the really long... Yeah. yeah! Yeah, yeah. Chickens don't pee. <laughs> Next step of the recipe is to take your chicken, wipe off excess buttermilk and dust it through flour, beaten egg and breadcrumbs to coat. And then we're going to fry it in olive oil. So you guys said when you're cooking this to half fry it and then finish it off in the oven, which is exactly what we're going to do. But some of you also said you can optionally put cheese in with the breadcrumbs so you get that kind of cheesy crumb. Yeah. We're not going for that today because we're adding the cheese on later on. But it's up to you. A little bit of hard cheese in there could also be delicious. Speaking of cheese, did you know that the way they test jet planes is to throw at them water, where is it, 800 Don't gallons of water per minute, Don't say ice balls, Don't say and Don't say chickens. dead chickens. He said chickens. They throw them <laughs> at the running edges he said chickens. to assure that they hold their form. Because, imagine bird the bird. Exactly. So they just throw chickens out. Makes sense. Yeah. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Just trying, even that. just trying to find a way in. When you're happy the oil is hot, we're going to lower it in and always put it in and then away from you. So in close and then away from you. No splash and you're going to cook it for a couple of minutes on either side. So it goes golden brown. Yeah, it's not even done yet. Good. Now, get your basil in there. Some of the basil, we'll hold some back to the garnish at the end, I believe. Oh, all in, all in. Then get that into a blender till it's nice and smooth. Apparently the oldest chicken died at the age of 16 from a heart attack. And now the bit that makes it chicken parmesan. We're basically going to bake it. It's like a second cook. 
but with some of that gorgeous tomato sauce on the bottom. Then we're gonna take our crispy golden chicken, get rid of excess oil, and place those in there. I've got a chicken fact. Baz, I've just remembered. No, I've got no, one. This is a good no one. No time now, Barry. Baz, we're, we're done, done with chicken facts. We've got to get this in the oven. So this doesn't go in the oven, we're going to run out of time and then the video is going to be too long. More tomato sauce and then two types of cheese. Mozzarella because it's stringy. And of course, Parmesan. Well, a Parmigiana wouldn't be a Parmigiana without some Parmesan because usually Parmigiana would be a aubergine or eggplant-based dish that you get in Sicily. But yeah. Chicken facts, not Parmesan. Facts. That's eggplant week. I do have a question though. I think throughout the course of this video, uh, 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 shh, shh, shh. throughout the course of this video, I think we've called it chicken parmesan, chicken parmigiana, and a minute ago you went in with a chicken parmigiana. Now what yeah. I'd like to know is how are we supposed to pronounce this? It can also be called chicken parma. Everyone kind of gets There's it no now. Parma ham, right? No parma ham. No parma ham. What it does need to finish off is an oven 200 degrees Celsius for five or 10 minutes until that cheese is bubbling and golden and then it's delicious. Basil on top. Do you know what? We love this served with buttered hot pasta, but you can serve it however you like. It's our chicken parmesan. No. Sorted. Hi guys. Oh, I see. Mate. Now you turn up. Well, I could smell it. You dodged a bullet today. This looks very, very good. Probably the most painful recipe I've ever experienced. But you loved it, you learned so much. That is amazing. And I've actually got quite a lot of experience in chicken parmigiana. Oh, Have you? I bet. You're, yeah. You're a chicken parmigiana. Did you know? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I have no never ever knows. been to an eating establishment where chicken parmesan has been on the menu and not ordered it. Wow. Right, one final fact. Did you know that tomorrow we're going to come back with a load more facts for you? It's a chicken chef's table. Me, Ben and James the mother clucker curry are going to sit down and talk all things chicken. Some of it will be fact, some of it will be opinion. And quite a lot of it will be fiction, sure. You actually <laughs> have to find out if they do have we're going to find out whether male chickens, roosters, have, you know... Mm. Cocks don't have penises. Which is ironic. I'm out. Click on the left if you missed our last video, or click on the right video for one of our favourites.